Hi guys, how's it going today? Uh, today we are going to enhance this portrait. Uh, we're going to take out some things from the background like this pole and this pole, this distracting uh, stick up here and this sign. We're also going to lighten it and just improve the portrait overall so we can give the client a nice finished product. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is go over here to my actions palette. If you don't have my actions, you can get them at Gretchen at GretchenOtero.com, just send me an email, and pretty soon I'll be putting those on my website for download, GretchenOtero.com. Um, so we're just going to start with our level slider. And if you don't have the actions, uh, you can also just go down here. To this, I call it a half moon. It's not exactly a half moon, but just go down here to levels, and you get the same thing. Um, to me, it's just easier to click once. This is pretty underexposed. That's my bad. I'm going to bring this up i'm looking just at skin tone i don't care about the building in the background and all that and i just want to get it a little bit lighter on her face i'm going to bring my mid tones up a little bit bring my shadows down just slightly that's good and then um, with my actions it automatically selects my 30 percent soft brush in the color of black so i'm going to use my bracket keys uh, which are right next to the letter P, to the right of the letter P, um, Control plus plus, and I want to zoom in on, oh, that's too much, Control Z. I just want to zoom in on her face. I reduce my opacity to 15%, and I just want to take a little bit of the color of the lightness off that side of the face. So here's our before, here's our after. That's good for now. Um, this is super bright to me, so I want to take my 50% brush, use my bracket key to make it smaller. Uh, when I navigate around the photo, you see the little hand pop up. Hand is there, hand is gone. What I'm doing is I'm using the palm of my hand to hit the space bar so I can hold it and drag around. It makes navigation really easy. I use the palm of my hand because my fingers are usually um, on the bracket keys for resizing and they're doing other things. For me, Photoshop is a definitely a two-handed operation so anyways i have my 50 percent brush and i'm just going to brush this brightness out maybe on her leg too because we don't need that and hit f8 all right well that'll do for now it's not perfect that's okay so let's get this pole out first and the way we're going to do that we're going to first grab our quick selection tool keyboard shortcut is w and I'm going to go in the plus mode up here. And I'm just going to grab some of her. Mostly I'm worried about the shoulder. I want to get this part out. So I go to the minus. Take that out right there. I'll take that out. And then I hit control C to copy. Um, if you're using a Mac, you're going to have to translate my um, PC speak into Mac. But control C to copy. Control V to paste. Now I have a new layer. You can see it down here in the layers palette. If I turn it on and off, you can't see it, but you'll see how handy it is in a minute. So now I go back to the background. Control minus to zoom out. Control plus zooms in. Control minus zooms out. I, I use I use that constantly, kind of without thinking. So I'll try to remember to kind of remind you what I'm doing. So the next thing I'm going to do is I need this part of the window that looks nice, not that part, to put over here. I don't know how high up I'm going to crop, so I'm just going to, because I do kind of want to keep this tree. So I'm just going to start here. And I know I got some of the wheel. It doesn't matter. There we go. Control C. I'm going to zoom in. Control V to paste. And then I hit the V key again without control to pick up my um, move tool. V is for move tool. Makes no sense. Just remember it. All right. Now I'm going to lay this over. Something cool that somebody taught me. Oh, let me show you this. So notice how it's going in behind her. That's because we have this layer here that we copied of her shoulder. So it just zooms in behind her. We don't have to worry about that much anymore. We're good to go. Uh, something cool that someone taught me once. Here we go, the layer two. We can change the mode to difference. So you can actually kind of 
line it up a little bit better. For this, I kind of like the normal. I can see it well enough, but that's super great. Like when you're swapping heads and things like that, the difference mode right here or even exclusion, um, they both work great to kind of line up your layers. I'm just looking, I'm using my arrow keys here to kind of refine where I'm going. And then I'm going to hit E to erase. And I want to erase that because it's distracting me. I'm going to erase up here. That's okay because we want this tree to come back. I'm going to get rid of all of that. So these don't line up. I'm going to hit V to move. Nudge it down just a little. I'm okay with that. Because we're probably, oh, we got the pull back. We don't want that. There we go. Just going to erase right in around here. I'm still using the eraser. I hit E to get the eraser. And then my bracket keys, just like for my brushes, my bracket keys will make my eraser bigger and smaller. The darkness of this bothers me right here. So this is light, this is dark. I'm going to leave it because we can fix that. Zoom out. I'm going to reduce this opacity, which is right up here. You can do it with the slider, or you can click this and slide, or you can just click the word opacity and slide back and forth. That's just how much oomph your brush is putting out. All right, so let's look at our before and after. And the, but looking at the before and after by toggling your layers will kind of help you identify maybe what you need to fix, what looks good, what looks bad. I feel like you need to hit the V key and go up and over just a little bit, maybe down one. And then I'm going to hit E to erase. And we got this line right here that needs to go. So let's toggle again before, after, before, after. I'm good with this. This will work on. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to hit F8 to flatten. That is good. Next order of business now is this pole. So we are just going to take this side. Control C, Control V, V to move. Drag it over here, down, 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 over, over, E to erase, go back to higher opacity. I should have gone higher with my copy. Um, we're going to leave it because I'll show you how to clone stamp. So I'm going to reduce my opacity now to just blend this in and what I'm doing is just click 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 let me erase this down here and now I do want to look at my before and after so I don't quite have enough to cover the bottom here and that's okay we're going to clone stamp that that'll just give you a new tool to lose or new tool to use there we go let me erase that and I definitely want to get this wheel out of here. That's just making it harder for me for what we need to do. There we go. Reduce opacity. And just kind of blend that just a little bit. Check out our before and after by toggling the layer. F8, that'll be fine. Okay, so let us now, I went to the clone stamp. The keyboard shortcut is F. I'm going to go right up here along this line. I'm going to Alt, click right here. And then I'm going to, you can see, it, it's going to show you what you're putting on where you've alt clicked. So if like I alt clicked on her face, it's gonna say, oh, we're gonna put a face up here. But I'm alt clicking on this building and I just wanna line it up. Oh, 
We're going to change our mode to normal, opacity to 100%. Alt click and let's paint. It's really important we get these lines to line up or it'll be obvious. So I'm going to go here, Alt click, straight on over with that. Right here, Alt click. Up we go. And that's fine. We're going to crop out the top of that. So that's good. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. Did y'all see this line? I should have fixed that before I flattened. Too late now. So we're just going to clone stamp it. And it'll be A-OK. -okay. Alt-click. This is such a small space in your whole finished product. But it's going to be okay. I kind of cloned some of what I didn't want. So I'm going to hit Control Z and just go back again. Control Z is your best friend. It undoes what you've just done. And you can hit Control Z multiple times to go back multiple history states. So just fixing this. Using the window. Using the window divider. I'm not sure what that's called. And then... We'll get a nice straight line, making one window match the other. I'm going to go to darken 40% just to make this window a little bit different than the other one. You'll see that. You'll see that. Darken. We're going to go with lighten 100%. Alt click. I'm going to go back to normal, alt-click. No, that was bad. There we go. Actually, guys, let's do it 40%. A lot of, you know, when you're working, it's okay to undo. It's okay to try something be like, oh, that didn't work, and then go back and try a different opacity or a different technique. It's completely fine, guys. You're learning. Um, you're working. There we go. So that's awesome. Let's see. I don't think we can go all the way back to the key. Yeah, we can. There we go. So there's our very beginning. Here's where we're at now. I promised we would fix this. This is an easy fix. Um, and also that's not straight. So let's fix that first. Make this a little bit bigger. Mode normal. Opacity 100. Alt click. Now just drag it across. There we go. That is awful. Control Z, Control Z again. I'll take that. So we're going to go down here to. Um, so this might be a. This might look like a variety of things. You might see this little thumbtack looking thing. You might see a, a hand with a circle. Or you might see a sponge. Um, we want the. Dodge tool, we're going to dodge the highlight at 37%. You can also dodge mid-tones, shadows. Actually, we're going to start with mid-tones, 37%. That was too much. Let's go down 20%. There we go. I'm going to dodge that too. I'm good with that. Awesome. Last thing here in the background, we have the sign Let's copy the wheel. I grabbed my quick selection tool, keyboard shortcut W. Oops. What happened there is I was in minus mode, so we need plus mode. That way, when you're in plus mode, you can add two. So say you select this and you want to add that, you can do that. If you're in minus mode, you can take things away that you've selected. Super helpful. I love the quick selection tool. All right, and just like we did with her shoulder, we're just going to say Control C, Control V. Now we have a layer with this wheel, and we're going to we were going to take this and we're going to put it over here to just get rid of this sign. That should be good. And I want to make sure I'm selected on my background layer. If I copied while I'm on this layer, it's not going to do anything. So I'm in my background. I've used the marquee tool to make this shape. This is the marquee tool. I'm going to say Control-V. Sorry, Control-C to copy. 
control V to paste, V to move, and then I'm going to right click. A minute, let's see, image, image rotation, flip, canvas, horizontal. Control Z, that's not what I wanted to do. Select. Of course, I can't remember how to do it right now. That's okay. We're just going to go with this. Control T. There we go. There we go. Um, right click, Control T, and then we can flip horizontal. Now we have a backwards window. We can scoot it in over here. Hit Enter. E to erase. Let's get rid of this hard line. Bring my opacity up a lot. Here we go, get rid of that. I'm gonna to toggle this on and off just so I can see what I need to get rid of that. I think that's the sign right there, it is right on that edge. So I'm gonna use this, that dark spot just bothers me. And then 100% kill that right there. And that my friends, Sign is gone. Right. This um, so this is gray. That's gray. That bothers me a little bit. I'm just going to use my eyedropper tool, keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcut I, to grab that, and a brush at like 36 percent, and just darken it just ever so slightly. If we wanted to like select just the area, we could. I go back and hit the D key, Control D, and I think that's fine. No one's really ever going to notice. We do have this down here. We'll hit the clone stamp, make our brush smaller, Alt click right here. That's good. I'm going to make a mistake and show you something cool. So say, oops, I went up there. We're just going to use, we could control Z and redo it, but maybe you really like what you did and you're like, oh shoot, if only I hadn't done that. We're going to use, we're going to go up here to our history states. If you can't find them, windows, history, click there. And we're just going to select this little box next to the, next to where we want to go back to. We're going to go over here and grab our history brush at 100%. We're going to make it smaller. We're going to zoom on in. And boom, boom, boom. We've gone back in time. We fixed our boo boo. It's way better. Awesome. Okay. F8 to flatten. Zooming up. This branch ruins it for me. I'm clone stamping haphazardly. Thankfully, this tree up here is a little underexposed, so we can't see a lot of the detail. Um, if I had run this through Lightroom, I probably would have brought the shadows up. If this had been a raw image, we could do a lot more with it. This was shot as a JPEG. Um, so we're just kind of stuck with what we have. So let's crop it. We're going to go 7 by 10. There we go. And I don't think we need the front of that to show. Hit enter. I'm going to do my levels one more time. The so levels layer, double click, brighten the whole thing up. I just move my whites to the left, my highlights, my midtones to the left, and my black down just a little bit, or my shadows. Click there. I have my 30% brush already selected because my Actions did that for me. Brush back in the side of her face. There we go, F8. And then something I do on all the portraits that I deliver to clients, we're just gonna go with full black overlay for this. It automatically selects a brush over here, a 17% black brush. And we are just going to brush the photo back in. So we can 
highlight what we want to draw the eye to, which is, of course, our subject. And I'm just sort of click, 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 click. I'm going to grab a 50% brush. There we go. I'm actually going to hit this tree. Normally, I leave my corners a little bit darker, but we want that a little bit brighter. Back to the 17, a little more brushing, and then 100% just on her. Maybe 50% down here for a little pop of color. And the 17% just to sort of soften the whole thing. So we can see our before and after. Before vignette, after vignette, just draws the eye. We'll hit F8. And guys, that is it. Um, if you have any questions, I would love to hear them. Leave them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, questions, anything like that, I'd love to hear from you guys. And thanks for watching.